in five, four, three, two, one. Houston, we have a liftoff. Hello, hello, I'm Sam I Am, somewhere. And today, that somewhere is, we are at the Burlington Regal for another out of the theater movie review. It's Thursday night, that means it's movie night, and tonight's movie is ISS. We just watched ISS. Let's jump right into our review. Boom. I'm in. My first reaction was, e e e <laughs> It didn't blow me away. It's okay overall. Adam up, you're up. What was your first reaction? I felt a little claustrophobic, kind of like uh, Prince Albert in a can watching this movie because you have like six astronauts and a tiny little space station. Don Solo, what was your first reaction? Uh, slow. It was first reaction and it just stayed with me the rest of the movie, slow. Let's move on to the positive things. My positive things was I like the actor named Gordon. Gordon's alive. He did a really great job and I also like the, the filming location where they take place in a little space shuttle. That was interesting. Adam, what were your positive things? I don't, I don't have too many positive things for this. The cast was fine. Um, I like space movies. It, it was a little, I, I guess I, I like the paranoia. I like the astronauts can't trust each other. There's nuclear war on Earth, and there's six, or six astronauts, three Russians, three Americans, and it's like a paranoid thriller more than anything else. Don Solo, what were your positive things? Uh, positive, what I really liked about it was the, the individuals battling with their own conscience, whether to do right or wrong, or if wrong was even right. That's deep. Let's move on to the negative things. My negative things was the movie was really boring for me overall. Adam, what were your negative things? I think you hit it on the, hit it on the head, Samantha. It was boring, like special effects were not good for a space movie like I saw the strings watch, watching the movie like when they're supposed to be floating in space you could see the strings holding up their pants um, I mean it's a, a B movie they probably didn't have a great budget but uh, definitely boring uh, overall Don Solo what were your negative things? Negative I'll have to go with the pace of things uh, really slow and then the predictability like I think everybody knew what was going to happen next and it's like it was very open ended. Like, I kind of just ended. You don't even know what happened to the, the characters. Yeah, I'd be uh, more interested to know what happened when they landed. It's kind of like they ended before the, the movie was over. Let's move on to the rating. I would rate this movie 6 out of 10. Adam up, what would you rate it? I think uh, I'm pretty close to you. I think I'm going to go 5 out of 10. Don Solo, what would you rate it? I'm going to rate it a 5. Uh, I had way better hopes going into this, but if I knew it was an op a 5 rating going in, I probably would have enjoyed it more. Would you pay to go see it, or... Nah, you can just wait for streaming. Wait for streaming. Um, I would wait for streaming because this movie is not really good. Don Solo, what do you think? I'm going to wait for streaming. Well, 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 we did it all. We took care of the chicken business, we watched a movie, and we talked about it. Nice work, pal. <laughs> nice work, pal. <laughs> Stay tuned for more out of the theater movie reviews coming to my channel very soon. So if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. And you could subscribe anytime because it's free for you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you real soon.